Why did pilots need specialized training to fly the Concorde? Let me explain. Pilots had to learn how to fly at Mach 2, twice the speed of sound, where even tiny control inputs could cause huge changes in altitude or speed. The aircraft also used a moving center of gravity fuel system, which required pilots to shift fuel between tanks mid-flight to keep the jet stable at supersonic speeds. Takeoff and landing were equally tricky. Concorde's delta wing meant it needed very high angles of attack, making visibility so poor that pilots lowered the famous droop nose just to see the runway. They also had to manage temperatures on the airframe. Concorde flights even required special navigation and oceanic procedures because it cruised higher than any commercial jet. And unlike subsonic jets, Concorde's engines used afterburners which pilots had to control carefully during takeoff and climb to avoid overstressing the aircraft. The flight engineer also played a huge role, managing dozens of systems that modern jets automate today. Concord crews trained for months in simulators to master these procedures, 